Hey, how you doing? Okay, in this video, we're going to quickly demonstrate uh, an option for uh, your site buildings. Okay, so the stuff that you're not actually developing, it's the backdrop, the, the backdrop, you know, low level resolution, uh, or even for scheming a site. Okay, so if you're you're trying to see how many houses you can get onto a development or many buildings or whatever, this is a, a decent option for low resolution, low level of detail. Okay. All right, so I've got three different types here. I've got a pitched roof. I've got a, sorry, that's a hip roof, pitched roof, and I've got a little flat roof over there. I've loaded them into this other model I've been working on in these videos. Okay, there they are. So pitched, hipped, and a flat roof. Okay, now here's what it is. So what I've done is I've made generic model families for each of these types, okay? And the, one of the reasons I think that works very well is because generic models, they join, okay? They can join to uh, to most system families and they, they join to each other, whereas other categories don't necessarily. Okay, so I know you, there's a bunch of ways of doing this, by the way, you can you can use masses, you know, there's, there's, there's mass families, you can load them in and you can do the same thing, more or less. Uh, for me, this is a decent, uh, very controllable, but it was you know, kind of a notch up in the detail and options. Uh, like the paths there, you can see you can turn them on and off, and uh, the the soffits can get deeper and faces can get higher and all that stuff, right? Uh, for me, this is a a very good solution for for that uh, scenario. Okay, I'll just quickly demonstrate it. So, right, so on the ground floor plan, uh, this is the flat roof guy over here. I'll just maybe throw that around the back and join it. Okay, this one is the hipped. Uh, let's just put that on the side of the building there. Okay. And I'm going to create another one. And I'm going to, okay, so I'm going to duplicate it, edit, duplicate. I'm not going to bother with the naming. You should give it a proper name with, let's say, 2500. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to just put that in the front there, like a, like a bay window. Uh, this guy over here, I'm going to duplicate. Uh, add type, duplicate, okay, width will say, I don't know, three meters, okay, and depth doesn't need to be nine meters, let's just put it, I don't know, 5,000, okay, okay. Uh, actually, I think I did that the wrong way around. I did, okay. So I'm going to flip that, edit type, the 5,000 goes to 3,000, and the 3,000 goes to 5,000, okay. And rotate it 90 degrees and stick it in the front. Maybe I'll align the front line with the bay window. And how's that looking? Okay. And maybe I'll put a lean to roof. So this is the other thing. So we can. Even with just that same family, the, the double pitch, you can, if you join it the right way, you can have a lean to roof. So if I rotate that 90 degrees and add a type, duplicate, okay, I'm going to give the width maybe 2500, okay. And back in the same building line there, I'll put it roughly in the middle. Put it in. Okay, that's too far out, I think. Let's put that in a good deal more into 3D. Okay, uh, oh yeah, so that one's got the wrong height in the edit type, but the soffit height, toward the soffit, let's say 2250, okay, okay, right. All right, you can see how that's already producing something of a fairly decent level of detail. Join, I'm gonna join, multiple join, the building to all of these guys. Again, that's part of the beauty of it. And there we go. Now, if this was a development and you wanted multiples of this house on it, so this is for scheming, let's say, you could simply, you don't have to make a, a, a family for that house type. You can you can just select it, create group, call it something proper. And in your architecture tab, I can just uh, model group, Place model group, it's like the one I just made, and you can plop that around your site. All right? Cool, huh? Now, 
there are a bunch of ways of going about this. I've cre I've controlled it with the uh, width and depth and soffit depth and fascia height and roof pitch. Okay, so my overall height, if I select that family, is a calculation uh, with with some trigonometry with the you know the pitch of the roof and the the width and all that stuff. Uh, so you could control it a different way. You could go by height and then the, say the pitch is calculated by the height or whatever. So that's it, guys. I uh, hope that was useful. Um, if I didn't show you, how, I didn't go through the process of making it, but if you do want me to do that, I'm willing. Uh, just pop some messages in there into the video, and we'll have a look at it when I get a chance. Uh, but maybe for some of you, that's the, just the idea is enough. Okay. Uh, appreciate that the watching, guys. Uh, if you've subscribed, you appreciate it. If you haven't, click the button, and the, the likes are appreciated too. So like, subscribe, and comment, and all that stuff. All right. Listen, have a good day. All right. Thanks.